For this problem, we're given two functions, f of x equals negative 1 over x, and g of x equals 3x minus 1. We're told to find f of g of x, or fog, and f of g of 2. So in order to find these, the first step is to rewrite our fog function. Fog of x or f of g of x is just a shorthand notation for writing f of g of x, meaning what do we get when we plug the second function into the first function everywhere we see an x in it originally. So f of g of x we're going to replace the g of x to begin evaluating this. g of x is the same thing as 3x minus 1. So we get f of 3x minus 1 will give us fog, or f of g of x. So everywhere we see an x in the original function f of x, we will replace it with this 3x minus 1 which gives us negative 1 over 3x minus 1. And we can't simplify this, so we'll go ahead and make note of that. Fog of x is equal to negative 1 over 3x minus 1. But with that, We've now changed the domain of the problem. f of x and g of x do not necessarily have the same domain as f of g of x. This is an entirely new function. And the way that you find the domain of this function is to take your inner function, g of x, and find any values that would cause division by zero or a negative inside of a square root. So we'll go to g of x. It's 3x minus 1. There's nothing here that would cause bad domain values. So we can immediately skip that step. The second step is to look at the final answer, negative 1 over 3x minus 1, and check if there's anything in this problem that would cause bad domain values. And quickly we can see that there is. We have 3x minus 1 in the denominator. If that were equal to 0, this would cause division by 0. So we're going to take that 3x minus 1 and set it equal to 0 and solve to find what x value causes division by 0 in our problem. So adding 1 to each side, we get 3x equals positive 1, and then dividing each side by 3, we get x equals 1 third. So if x equals 1 third, we get division by 0. So our domain is everything but x equals one-third, meaning it's negative infinity all the way up to one-third, but not including one-third, unioned with one-third all the way to positive infinity. This is everything but x equals one-third. And now from here, we have f of g of 2 that we need to solve for. f of g of 2 just means what do we get when we plug 2 into this new composition, f of g of x. And we don't need to go through plugging 2 into our function g and then taking that value and plugging it into our function f we should immediately take this value of 2, so f of g of 2, 
will just be what happens when we take this 2 and plug it into our composition. So we have negative 1 over 3 times 2 instead of x minus 1 gives us negative 1 over 6 minus 1 is 5. So f of g of 2 is negative 1 fifth.